So they are dancing across the finish line at the NWG Innovation Festival. Hello and welcome to IFTV. I'm Kim Ingalls and this is our final roundup from Gosforth Park. We've lots to come in tonight's programme, but first let's take a look at last night. Somebody else was asking the tricky questions. I'll tell you what, we'll work on it, it's all right. Which European nation was the first to drink tea? Farak Balsara was the lead singer of what pop group? Who released the album Invincible? How green is your city? That's the challenge that's been posed to Clive Sermon Wells and your sprint. How's it gone? It's gone great, better than I could have imagined. So what kind of innovation have you seen from your team? We've seen a real variety of different ideas from uh, r ranging right across the board. It's a very broad subject, uh, how green is your city? So uh, a diverse range of things. Have there been any particular highlights for you? Yeah, I think uh, the most interesting thing has been the way the process has morphed and it hasn't been what I thought it would be. I thought we would be looking at things like electric cars and hybrids, but that's not that innovative. That's going to happen anyway. Give us an example then of something you've come up with, a sneak preview if okay. you like. Okay, so um, moss trees. Now this is uh, an idea where you um, have a tree which is made of moss. And moss, a lot of people don't know this, but moss absorbs uh, pollutants, things like CO2, in the air, uh, the equivalent to 175 trees. So you cite these moss trees um, in a place and it improves the air quality all around. So the idea is to put those in places like schools and in high streets to absorb the pollution. That's really very clever. How are your team feeling about doing their presentation? I'd say there's a mixture of um, excitement and a little bit of uh, nervousness as well probably about it. We've been catching up with some of this week's runners and riders. Here's what they had to say. I found Carl from Offwalk. Carl, how impressed are you with what you've seen here? So far, really impressed. It's great to see so many organisations from across the sector and beyond coming together to solve all these chronic problems. It looks like people have been working really hard all week and I'm really looking forward to hearing what the sprints are going to result in. When we started, I think we had a pretty clear idea about what might happen on day one, but we had no idea what was going to happen on day two, three, four and five. And it's just been incredible. I mean, I've been here all week been talking to people, I think the collaboration, the networking between people, people are saying that's never happened anywhere in any of their experiences and they've been learning things and grabbing ideas from there, putting it with there, you know, and then we, I think we're just going to see some incredible results. The tension's definitely building. I mean, what's your expectation from these presentations? Well, I think the great thing about these sorts of events is that um, your expectations will always be confounded. Hopefully you'll be surprised and inspired and provoked by what you hear. I kind of expected at some point the energy would dip and people might feel a little bit jaded with the ideas and what they were doing. It's just not happened. No, it hasn't, has it? And given, you know, we've got people coming on site before, the, before they're supposed to do because they're that keen, so they've been here at like half six, seven o'clock in the morning because they wanted to get down to work going all the way through the day with the energy levels really up there and then we've had the fun events um, at night and maybe that's just energised them and then of course if they had a little dip they could go off and have their head massaged or something <laughs> unusual just to get their, their brain cells you know revitalised as well but yeah definitely would agree people's energy levels have not dipped. Bringing all the partners together, the different skills, uh, common problems, um, getting different ideas, it's the way you, t you come up with some great solutions to some really difficult problems. CGI is one of the high-profile main headline sponsors here at the Innovation Festival. Tara McGeehan is with me. Tara, CGI, why would they get involved with something like this? Well, um, Northumbrian Water is an incredibly important partner of ours. And on top of that, it's such a fabulous opportunity to get involved with the community and a wider group of people. So we were thrilled when we were asked. It took me about two seconds to decide to take part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's been really highly energised this week. Yeah. Um, I think we've seen lots of innovation. What kind of things have impressed you? 
just the um, the breadth of people's thoughts and enthusiasm. Um, my team are all technologists, of course, but we've had school children in, we've had people from other sectors, and they've all brought such fabulous ideas that have all meshed together really well. So, so in the thoughts that have come out of this week will we'll drive forward for months ahead. Um, we filmed some of the youngsters doing the science, technology, engineering and maths bit earlier this week. That's something you're very passionate about. Yeah, myself and CGI are huge fans and supporters of the STEM movement. We're obviously the T bit of STEM technology um, and we do a lot of work with school children in local areas. Um, seeing them here this week and especially the girls, you know, we're, we're a huge encourager of bringing girls into technology. So trying to make it more exciting and more relevant to their lives um, is definitely something we've achieved this week. So what are your expectations from hearing the presentations from all these sprints this afternoon? Well, um, from my point of view, we're going to try and take our bit of it and drive it forward and actually make some of it real. Um, so we've got a lot of work to do on the back of this. Uh, you know, it's such a fabulous event. You know, we were so pleased to be involved with it, but I think it's only just a start. This is the final stretch. Let's see our sprint teams presenting their final ideas. Our first sprint has performed. It was rain, hail or shine. How was it for all of you guys? Yeah, I think it went down well, I think. So what's your one favourite idea? I think the, uh, the flood rangers, getting somebody in the community who can work as a champion and an advocate for sort of flood mitigation, who can collect that information and feed it back into a central, central system. Somebody who just knows the community and is respected by the community can really make a difference there. Ian, how do you think that went? Awesome, great, fantastic, <laughs> all those good words. We've got all of these organisations who want to work with us and we're going to take it forward via projects. There's industry funding available for it, so let's do it. Can't wait to get back to work on Monday and get cracking. Tomorrow's World, Martin, that could have led to all kinds of things. Tell us briefly where it brought you to. It brought us to four great ideas. Some of those are kind of stretched into the future. Some of them are quite visionary, drones dropping off deliveries and things like that. But little, little things that we can implement today and actually run with next week. I think it went down really well. I think people liked it and warmed to the ideas and there was certainly a, a, a warm feeling in the room. Oh, it's been absolutely fantastic. I mean, in terms of actually how people have reacted in the room, it's just been great to see. People have mixed up from the outset. They've really got on board. We've had a lot of fun. We've made new friends. We've made new business connections. And that's been amazing to see. And you were really positive about this whole experience, a bit sceptical in the beginning. How's the week been for you? Um, oh, crikey. There's, there's one word that I've used with my wife when I've phoned her each night. Surreal. Absolutely surreal from everyone around just really enjoying themselves. It has been absolutely amazing and we are going to be looking forward so much to coming back next year. So you've seen all of our sprints in action. These are some of the other fantastic supporters who've helped make the NWG Innovation Festival possible. They've been educating, entertaining and informing the crowds all week. We're going to go find some festival goers and get their final thoughts on how their week's been. This all started, weirdly enough, in the back of a taxi with us two, <laughs> um, just before Christmas. And, you know, you have the germ of an idea and you think about how you might bring together experts from around the world and we might focus on some of the problems and just, I guess, use all of that talent. And then you come here and it's all happening and you see the presentations. And what it's done for me is just realised how absolutely right this guy was to have the dream. I completely agree with all of that actually, So, um, but I'll pick out a couple of examples. So I think uh, the data analytics and the leakage well, there's an awful lot for us to go out there. I think there's a, a, it's a big problem for us, it's an expensive problem for us, and um, we've been wrestling for ages how to solve it, uh, and I, I think we've got some great insight from the data and from the analysis that the guys have done that will really be a big step forward for us. The way in which Nigel sort of constructed it around getting customer engagement, getting the business involved, and then all of the different uh, data and technology providers, it's just been a, it's just been a dynamite show. I just thought it was brilliant, a brilliant event, and uh, I was invited as a customer for Monday and Tuesday, and I've ended up coming back for the entire week. It was so good. The energy, the determination, um, the willingness to, to do it, um, not just to talk about it, but to get the actions from it. Most of the ideas were similar in nature, what other guys are thinking. I think that there is a common theme to it. A number of things are going to be taken forward. A number of ideas um, have already been presented. 
um, and there are a number of streams of activity that we are actively going to be working on. Somebody had said earlier that you know they they are unique in the fact that they can connect they can connect with every single person in the area, and I thought that's right. And they are the kind of people who need to be bringing all of us together to to discuss these big problems. Really, really proud. Really, really proud because I feel very privileged to be the leader of Northumbrian Water. We're a great company and we do amazing things. Um, but this week has just shown us at our very, very best, along with partners who have shown themselves at their very, very best. And that's just making me feel in incredibly, incredibly proud to go out there and now change some stuff. Yeah, proud to be part of one really big, great team. I think that's my, my overall sort of sentiment. Um, this sort of kicked off, handful of people working on it and then gradually spread almost virally across the organisation and people really dove into this sort of voluntarily, doing it above and beyond their day jobs. So I think, uh, you know, I'm just incredibly proud that people felt that same commitment and passion for it. So it was, it's, it's humbling, really. We hope you've enjoyed watching our roundups here on IFTV from the NWG Innovation Festival at Newcastle Racecourse. From all the team and from me, Kim Ingalls, thank you for watching.